I always thought, will I find like my better half, my other half, will I accept my vitiligo as well? I was raised by a Emirati dad and a British mother. Something that might be raised, is he more liberal than we'd want him to be? Our non-love story, love story, started 11 years ago. Her brother-in-law introduced me to her. All her brothers were there. For me, it was like the greatest testament of my love to her, because if I can have seven guys looking at me and me standing there strong, but she was worth it. You were worth it. <laughs> <laughs> when we were asking for Sarama, they're like, look, it's our responsibility to tell you that you know, she has this skin condition. We don't speak about it a lot in our society, and whoever has it, they, they tend to actually hide away or like hide it with a lot of makeup. Once I met him, once he saw it, it just, that worry went away. As a lot of people say, but yo, I have a cure for your wife, huh? all right? Or, yeah. I, or I have this medicine that she can take that can cure her skin condition. So, so you won't have to worry about it anymore. What makes you think that it's my decision of what she decides to do with her own body. We have this little bubble of like happiness that surrounds us every day with regards to the way we feel for each other, the work that we do. My parents never told me, listen to your heart. What does your heart tell you? It's like a pretty intelligent part of you, an organ of you, and it does give you a, a sense of direction as well. Every single thing I've achieved and everything I am, I owe to you. I love you. I Thank owe you. it to you. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one, like you got it on camera, right? So this is it. Now he has now it I have evidence against me for the rest of my that, life. Like she's never said that in real life, just so you know. If two people want to come together with all their heart, nothing in the world can stand in their way.